Hello YouTube, this is Pixel Talk with a brand new kind of game review. It's to start off the entire Minecraft channel and I'm going to start with reviewing and telling you what Minecraft is. Now most people generally know what Minecraft is and if you're going to go ahead and start you know watching my channel you're gonna probably want to know what Minecraft is. Minecraft is a 3D sandbox game based off logic, survival, and the ability to thrive and make the world yours. Now, Minecraft can be quite difficult at times, but once you've learned the general basics of Minecraft, then you'll understand. This is to show you the general outlook of what the blocks, the terrain, and everything looks like. I've been spawned in what is called a jungle biome, which is mostly leaves, like large trees, darker leaves. And there's like five or six different biomes throughout the entire world, and they're all randomly generated, so not one world is the same as the other. You will never get the same seed twice. Out of here, you'll see the transition between biomes. Now, the jungle biome is quite extensive and takes some time to get out of. But this is the general look of Minecraft. And now I'm going to ha go ahead and take you to the menu screen. Hello again, and this, we are at the menu screen. Yay! This is what you'll start out with. Single player, multiplayer, and texture packs and options. In single player, you start out by yourself in either creative or survival mode. Survival mode being you start out in a randomly generated world all by yourself in the middle of nowhere where you have to break blocks, craft, and thrive, all starting with nothing, there building yourself up to the top. Creative mode allows you the ability to fly around and have every item in the entire game at your disposal to create worlds beyond your imagination. Multiplayer. You can connect to many, many servers throughout the entire world that are hosted by different people from here to Canada to the Netherlands. and. You can play online with up to 400 people, I think it is, per server, is the max. And it can be a lot of fun, and hosting your own server is one of the best things to do because as soon as you get that server up, you and your friends can just play. Uh, texture packs allow you to change the overall uh, look of Minecraft, and that's not really quite important with this. And then you have your options, which allows you to change things like render distance, your graphics, and things like that. Uh, I'm going to take mine down a notch because, ha, get it? A not, notch, not, nope, okay, notch, you know, ha <laughs> but, um, because uh, I'm recording right now, but that allows you to change your options, but we're going to go ahead, for this review, we're going to go ahead and just create a new world, and we're going to name it Pixel Talk, yeah, and right here is where you can change your game mode from hardcore to creative to survival and then you have more world options which you can explore on your own once you create a new world you spawn in a randomly generated area in the middle of nowhere and you start with nothing and the goal of the game is to start from having nothing all the way oh look at that start, spawn jungle again huh how about that is to start with nothing and work your way to the top like I said now let, as soon as we get out of here and as you just saw health, uh, I will start to talk about what Minecraft is. Minecraft is a 3D sandbox game based on logic and survival and allows you to craft numerous amounts of well, numerous amounts of creations just based off nothing. It can be extremely challenging at times and dying is, is just a pain in the butt. Now as we walk around you can see like the extensive amount of blocks and materials that can be collected you can see like a bunch of large trees and you would think that just with blocks you can't do much but the amazing detail that does in fact go into minecraft is quite extensive now hopefully we get out of this jungle soon so i can begin to show you more about minecraft just the jungle biome is not very great for starting a review because you don't see very much now we are almost out very soon. Yes. Okay. This will have to work because I cannot seem to find anywhere else. There's a crater. How about that? 
Okay. I'm going to start and tell you what Minecraft is. Minecraft allows, like I, well, I just said that, allows you to make whatever you want. Now, with the left mouse button, and you hold it on any block in the entire game, other than bedrock, of course, you pick up an item, and it appears at the bottom left of your uh, inventory bar, which is the gray and greenish bar. Above that, the little black line is your experience, which comes from killing monsters and little green orbs will pop out and you'll get experience, which allows you to enchant weapons and it's just far more than I can explain at the moment. To the right is, you see, little meat sticks. I call them meat pops. That is your hunger. Uh, when you have high hunger, you can sprint using double tap of W and hold. And the lower your hunger, the less stamina you have allowing you to not sprint and then start running a lot slower. Once you run out of hunger, you begin to die, which comes to the left part, which is these hearts. Losing a heart causes a hit to your hit points. Losing all of your hearts causes you to die and respawn back at your spawn point. Unless you have made a bed, you will spawn back where you started at the very beginning of the game. Now, if you are on hardcore mode, dying just once will end your game. And you will just, yeah, this. No, you're, you're screwed. So let's go ahead and start. You can place a block that you've picked up by using the right click on the mouse. As you can see, a block shows up on the screen and is placed on the ground. You can take it away by uh, holding left button until it breaks. Um, the f quickness of the block breaks varies between the tool that is used and the way it is broken. Now there are many, many, many different tools in this entire game, such as pickaxes, axes, hoes, shovels, etc. All made of different materials such as diamond, iron, gold, wood, stone, all of these things. You have to find by yourself in this world. Now normally you would start off by coming over and getting some wood, because you always want to start out with a crafting table. So you will collect the wood, and each tree trunk will drop one tree trunk wood block once you have that by pressing E or your designated key which I think on all is E you come up to this screen to the left is your armor this is where you would your armor slots in the middle oh, seems like I have a thing on Facebook how about that in the middle this is your backpack is what I call it this is where you cannot see it at the bottom, however, this is where you can hold other items. The bottom is your hotbar, it's the exact same as what is down here. Here is the crafting. This is the most important thing in all of Minecraft. This is what it comes out to. By crafting, you have the ability to make all kinds of different recipes. As you can see, by placing wood in there, you get 12 wood planks out of that. By placing them like this, in the shape of a stick, you get four sticks. By placing it in, the, in just a square, you get a neat little thing called a crafting table, which is probably the most important tool in all of the game. Now, to make tools. Well, for a pickaxe, you would make the handle out of sticks. And then, in the general shape of a pickaxe, you'll put three wood planks at the top, and there you go, you have a pickaxe. For a sword, one at the bottom, two at the top. Now, this would be the exact same for stone and other creation tools. You would have a stick at the bottom, but two stone blocks up here. Gold uh, ingots or anything else. It just depends on the material making it out of. Uh, using this system, you can create armor and like hundreds of other different recipes that amount to other things. It's really interesting and you just gotta play around with it. Even I don't know all the all the recipes, and I should, but I don't because I don't really care. But whatever. So, believe it or not, it starts out quite boring, but it will become a lot more fun as soon as you actually pick up on the game. And it's even more fun whenever you have people to play with online, such as with the multiplayer and things. So that concludes my review slash tutorial is slash info slash intro slash a whole bunch of other things on what Minecraft is and I hope everybody could becomes more interested in it and please subscribe to my channel at the bottom it would be much appreciated toodaloo man yeah, that's gay whatever